Hi out there. Hopefully this is one video that everybody sees. This is a video in response to the arrest at the legislative meeting on the 21st of my comrades, friends, family. If the government would do their job and answer our letters that have been sent over and over and over, dozens of times, say the least, our sit-down meetings, the emails, the phone calls, then this type of action would not be necessary. If somebody in the government would do something about the jail conditions, the jail deaths, the inhumane treatment, these actions would not be necessary. So for those of who, you who say, why did they do this? They did this because the government continues and continues to ignore us. My brother's been gone 10 months now. I have not received anything from any government official saying they're going to check into this. They want to know why. My brother and at least 10 others have died in that damn place. Or because of that place. They send people out to the hospital so they don't have to put it on their records. They set my brother out brain dead. They sent another gentleman out with third, second, third degree burns all over his body. They've sent other people out that had to be airlifted to Syracuse or wherever. Within a couple days, they're gone. Why is nobody in called a elected official know what the hell is going on? Why do they keep ignoring this? And as long as they do keep ignoring this, there will be more protests, more rallies, and possibly more arrests. Personally, I chickened out, so to speak. With my health issues, I was scared to get arrested. And now I feel kind of bad about that. Not to mention that they found out <laughs> my last my main name is Card. I'm really screwed. I probably already have a target on my back because I keep calling this so-called sheriff out every time I speak. I'm calling him out now. Harder, show me the documents where you took these people to their doctor appointments. Where's the transportation slip? Show me the medical, their medical records from that damn jail. Show me where they got their medicine. You can show me that you did, your people did their fucking job, excuse the language, then I'll back off. But guess what? You can't. I had, I've had, I had the damn place investigated for Rob's death. For 13 days, I have a, there's a stack like this. I don't know if you can see this. There was a stack like this of medical slips. That's ridiculous. It should have been this big when they sent him to the hospital. Not bigger than I can show. I'm just, I'm so angry. I've been angry for the last 10 months. It doesn't stop. The reason why I ping the ashes, people have made comments about it. I'm not doing it to be morbid, as some may say. I'm doing it because I am there to represent my brother. I am there to show what, can, what happens to the inmates in that damn place. To me, that box of ashes does not just resemble my brother, it resembles every single person they've killed. I do it because I promised my brother on his brain-dead body I would continue to fight. So why would I not bring him with me? No, it's not easy. Not whatsoever. 
and with him with me, it gives me even more strength to do the speaking I do. It makes me angry enough to speak. It makes me compassionate enough to speak. So anybody wants to know why I've been carrying him with me, that's why. He's on my bedstand. I see him all day, every day, all night. To help me keep driven to do this stuff that I do, the jail visits. The shining the light. The demand justice campaign. The rallies, the protest. He gives me strength to keep doing this, even when I'm at my weakest health issues. And I wanted to send a thank you. I'm probably going to get emotional. <laughs> I have been all week since the protest. I wanted to thank everyone that got arrested for doing what you did, partly in my brother's name. You were stronger than I am. You were more dedicated than I was that day. Yes, I was there. I stood up with Rob's ashes in his tombstone. But I didn't say anything. Well, I was told I didn't need to, <laughs> or I would have. And yes, I cowered out of getting arrested. I was too scared. Especially being a card. So, thank you. I can't wait to see every one of you. Please, if you're seeing this and you're one of them that were arrested, come up and give me a big hug. I'm not sure who everybody is. And I want to keep going around asking everybody, hey, or go around being you keep and say, hey, are you so-and-so? So, so please, if you see me again, please come up and set, give me a hug. Because I want to hug you. Thank you. On behalf of the cards, we appreciate you. We respect you. We admire you. And love you for what you did. For the sacrifice you made that night. Sorry. <laughs> and unity and solidarity and love and compassion and respect. We will continue our fight. Peace and love to everybody seeing this. See you guys soon.